Today, I'm very happy to be at um, uh, Taiwan University. I think the uh, most important thing is, again, the supply chain in semiconductors is very, very complicated. We have so many steps uh, throughout the supply chain. And from AMD's standpoint, uh, we want to have a very resilient supply chain. So Taiwan continues to be a very important part of that supply chain. How is everyone this morning? It's great to be here in Taiwan. Thank you for the very warm welcome. And I would say the weather is very nice these uh, few days. Yeah, so uh, yesterday I was in uh, Shinshu and uh, meeting with um, all of our partners, including uh, TSMC. And we have, uh, as you know, a great partnership with TSMC. So we had some major milestones, including our first two nanometer chip, uh, our uh, next generation uh, server processor, Venice has been very successful, so we wanted to thank uh, CC and his team for that. And we also have our uh, first product in uh, the uh, Arizona site. Our new um, fifth generation Epic is also doing very well, so we're ready to start production. So that was very uh, good discussions. And then, yes, today and tomorrow is meeting with all of our partners here in uh, Taiwan, including supply chain partners, uh, including our customers and all of the ecosystem. So as always, the Taiwan ecosystem is uh, so important uh, to us. Well, I think overall, you know, we all have see that it's a very dynamic situation uh, right now in the uh, overall supply chain. I think we're very lucky that we have a broad and a very a deep set of partnerships. So we believe we can work very closely uh, with our partners to manage um, any of the supply chain issues. We certainly are. Um, when you think about the importance of the supply chain, we need to have uh, supply chain in all places. So certainly Taiwan is very important uh, to us from a supply chain. And also in the United States, uh, we just completed our acquisition of ZT Systems, which is a leading uh, supply chain um, AI server capability in the United States. So yes, we are also expanding our US capability, both from a silicon standpoint as well as, as a server standpoint. We have uh, many new plans. I think the uh, most important thing is Again, the supply chain in semiconductors is very, very complicated. We have so many steps uh, throughout the supply chain. And from AMD's standpoint, uh, we want to have a very resilient supply chain. So Taiwan continues to be a very important part of that supply chain. But the United States uh, is also going to be important. And we're expanding um, our work there, including our work with TSMC and other key uh, supply chain partners. There's many new surprises always. So we're getting ready to launch our new uh, next generation AI chips um, MI350 series. So you'll hear more about that uh, from us uh, in um, June timeframe. And always uh, we think that uh, the, the Taiwan ecosystem is uh, so important for AMD. Today I'm very happy to be at um, uh, Taiwan University. I think President Chen invited me several times, so I'm happy this time I can actually make it. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. So. Um, uh, President Lin said that uh, I'm in Taiwan, so I must speak some Chinese today. So, Dajia so, Hao. Oh. I'm very happy to be here today to the University of Yangming. President Lin, uh, Dean Wang distinguished guests and students. Thank you all very much for this great honor. I am extremely proud and humbled to receive this honorary doctorate from such an incredible university in Taiwan and also throughout the world. This week that I've been in Taiwan has been truly fantastic. As someone who was born in Taiwan and grew up in the United States, Every time I come to Taiwan, it's like coming home. And this time, coming home actually feels more special because it's been too long since we could be here. After a great week meeting with our partners and our customers and our employees, this honorary doctorate is truly the best way to finish the week for me. Thank you so much. I'm truly honored to accept this recognition and I'm deeply grateful. The principles of National Yangming Jiaotong University are truly close to my heart because 
You were founded on the idea that a great university is a place where people come together across multiple disciplines to solve real world problems. And I truly believe that whether you're in research or you're in business, the way to really bring about the most groundbreaking innovation actually requires this holistic approach across multiple disciplines and multiple perspectives. NYCU is a pioneer in bringing together multiple disciplines and to learn those disciplines in school is really the best preparation for the future. I really have tremendous respect and admiration for President Lin and Dean Wang and all of the faculty and staff of NYCU who are shaping the next generation of leaders. I would not be where I am today without the support of my professors who guided me when I was a young student at MIT. Now, it's also really wonderful to see all the students that are here with us today and all who are watching us online. Maybe I can take a few minutes to tell you a little bit about my story. So when I was a young electrical engineering student, I was thinking, how could I make a difference in the world? Actually, there were so many smart people at MIT. I felt that it's really hard to decide what to do. However, my inspiration came from the first time I went into a semiconductor lab. What I realized then is my true passion was to build things. And semiconductor chips were things that I could build in a lab and touch and feel. And I then decided I wanted to get a PhD in semiconductors. And at the time, nobody thought semiconductors were interesting. Actually, most people did not even know what is a semiconductor. However, I really believe that semiconductors could change the world. And now you fast forward to today, and what the last few years has taught us is that semiconductors are truly essential to every part of our life. And being in Taiwan this week reminds me that Taiwan is truly the center of the global semiconductor ecosystem. The talent, the resources, the innovation, the culture, and the spirit in Taiwan are really what make the semiconductor ecosystem here truly amazing. I've been in this industry now for almost 30 years, and I must say I'm incredibly proud to be in this industry, and together we really do change the world. Now, as exciting as the last few years have been, I actually believe the next 10 years will be much, much more exciting. The innovation opportunities ahead of us are truly enormous and the computing industry is changing very fast and perhaps the most important aspect is AI. AI is really the defining megatrend for the next 10 years and more and generative AI has really reshaped how we think about this where we see that every product, every service, every business in the world will be impacted by AI and the technology is actually evolving faster than anything that I've ever seen before. Now, AI also requires that all of the disciplines come together, including hardware, software, systems, applications, and even business models. And this is the perfect example of the multidisciplinary approach and different perspectives that NYCU is all about. So it's an incredibly exciting time for all of us in the technology industry, and it's also an opportunity for all of us to come together to drive the industry faster. So let me finish by saying thank you. I really want to acknowledge my AMD team and our partners and all of our friends and colleagues in Taiwan. This recognition is really for all of the work that we have done together. And of course, I also want to thank my parents and my family for all of their support. And some of my relatives are here uh, today. Uh, thank you for being here. I'm very, very happy today to become part of the NYCU family. And I'm very, very optimistic about the future and the role that we now as alumni of NYCU will play in using technology to solve the world's toughest challenges. It's truly an honor to be here today. Thank you again, President Lin and Dean Wang, and to all of the faculty, staff, and students at NYCU. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Sue. Thank you. 
Dr. Su, President Ling, and Dean Wang, we would like to invite you to please take your seat down the stage for the moment as we are going to rearrange the seating for the panel discussion. Congratulations to Dr. Su. Let's look at our photographer in the middle. A little bit to your right, thank you. Let's look at our photographer right in the middle. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now we would like to invite President Lee to please turn the tassel for Dr. Su. We would like to invite Dr. Ling to turn the tassel for Dr. Su. Congratulations to Dr. Su. Now we would like to invite Dean Wong to please come to the front for the group photo. Please look at our photographer, photographer in the front first. A little bit to your right, thank you. And let's look at our photographers at the back. We have a lot of photographers here. And a big smile, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Dean Wong, please take your seat on the stage. And now we would like to invite us on the stage, thank you. Now, President Lee would like to present a gift to Dr. Su. Thank you very much. Please look at our photographer. A little bit to your right for the photo. Thank you. Thank you very much. President Lee, please take your seat on the stage.